welcome to Chauncey School, the home of the disappointment. Today you'll get an exclusive look round with me, Richard Shatterborough. Let's go and have a look in the sports hall. What a waste of money. This project cost the school 2.2 million pounds. And I'm going to prove to you today what a waste of money it really was. As you can see here, Mr. O'Sullivan boldly used his own name in the making of this portal. What a cunning man with great brilliance. Yeah. Unfortunately, under unconseen circumstances, we weren't allowed to use portal because we're going to give you a couple of shots inside, but that's it. Because we're not allowed to use it because they're. Sweet now because apparently we weren't allowed to use any more footage in the sports hall. So what I decided to do was to use some instruments inside the music hall. Let's test them out. Tango down. First, we are going to use the piano. Magnificent instrument, ten out of ten. Next, drums. Oh, damn it, there's no sticks. <clears throat> the drums are next. As you can see, they're a magical instrument. I've never used them before, so let's try something. Amazing, 10 out of 10. Beautiful. Next. Guitar! Yes. You boy, give me the guitar. I'm a musical masterpiece, as you can see. 10 out of 10. As you can see, I am outside sixth form at Chaunty School right now. We're going in to interview a member of the students. Let's go. Right now, I am with a student from Chauncey School. What is your name, sir? My name is Andrew. What do you study here at Chauncey School? I do photography, science, ICT. That's it. Oh, very good, sir. What do you think of the school? Oh, um, the school's not bad, to be honest. Um, you know, you got the lovely um, the common room that we all use every day, even though it's like thrash now. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that's really fascinating. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Hello, and thank you for watching my part one of the day in the life of Chauncey School. In part two, we'll be having an exclusive interview with a caretaker for Zill. Enjoy. I'll see you after the break.